I'm here with Matt. Um, we are going to the airport. <laughs> I'm, fine. I'm not going to give up and I said, Matt, I'm going to come with you to the airport. <laughs> I'm like, this is like five or ten more minutes of questions we could get answered. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the question I have is the authorship uh, email and uh, Google Plus now. Mm -hmm. And I have two different accounts. One is our, my YouTube account, mm -hmm. which I maintained for a long time, which I have my, this thing, the videos that we took with you and other things. Yeah. So all those got some good authority. Mm -hmm. And now I'm trying to connect all those things. Yeah. I'm having some big yeah. problem. It can be tricky. Uh, and it can be like, sometimes what you need to do is is make a page, mm -hmm. you know? So it's, it's less about tying your two identities together and more about migrating one to be like okay this is a, a Google Plus page or this is a YouTube page or I forget which one it is um, <clears throat> it, so basically in instead of tying the two together and connecting them you're saying okay uh, here is the canonical home for the authority on the page and then I'll just take my identity and I'll take it everywhere else around Google it, it's kind of interesting because you know Google bought YouTube in 2006, right. I think, yeah. and so uh, we've had a long time to, in theory, merge the identities, and it really just goes to show how difficult yes, it, is. it is. And uh, you know, if if you had some video that was allowed, uh, you know, shared with an access control list to a friend, and then you revoke that access, unless we know about that, you know, we might think, oh, you still have access to to watch that video or view that web page or whatever. So it really does go to to show how tricky identity is, and uh, and trying to get it right has taken a long time. I, I think they're doing much better now with sure. YouTube, but I do sometimes hear those complaints where people are like, hey, I've got these two identities. I don't want to link them together. I'm, yes. What's the best way to transition them? And so I think we, we maybe we could do a little bit better about, you know, producing some specific documentation about that. Like, right. what are the best practices? That sort of thing. Okay. So I did not connect. So I said, let me wait. You know, I'd have to wait because, yeah. Yeah, yeah that way, is, at, at least it's safe. Because it's like, right. you haven't done anything. You have to worry about undoing or something like that. Um, over time, we hope to make it better. And you can even see that with, like, Google Plus for Gmail versus Google Apps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of like if you started out on Gmail, but you really want to move to your Google Apps domain, you know, migrating your circles and all that sort of stuff, or, or even it, it could, for a long time was more difficult than it needed to be. And now we've got some, some code that can do that. But even then, people are yeah. always a little worried, like, am I going to lose some of my reputation if I transition and that sort of stuff? So I think uh, all the way up to the very top of the company, people realize that identity really matters and trying to know who you are uh, at, at least to the degree of knowing how reputable you are and how much what you say should be trusted, that matters as well. There's always debate about, you know, do we really need a real name or, you know, what is the right to have anonymity and, and we do want to support, you know, an anonymous speech on the web if people want to do that as well. And, and yet, if we can find, like I said during my talk, as a web spam person, if I knew which people wrote content, you could give better you know, signals of reputation to those people. So if Brett Tabke or Danny Sullivan or Vanessa Fox or Lisa Barone or whoever writes something on a, on a new forum or a new blog, that's really useful. And you would want to know that even right. if it's a forum you've never heard of before. Um, and so if we could get more identity baked into the web and knowing who wrote what as far as content, then there would be fewer dark places around the web for the spammers to hide. And so I think overall, that's got to be a nice long-term trend that a lot of companies sure. pay attention to. Thank you. Yeah.